Hello, and welcome to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This miraculous hub was established over 40 years ago in 1978 and has remained one of the most beautiful sights in the whole nation. The way that the clouds fleet in the skies and the distant plateaued mountains reside in harmony makes for a setting that should belong in a painting. It's absolutely breathtaking. And I must say, the park is absolutely breathtaking as well. This park's beauty would not come without some serious drawbacks. The fences that surround this park may appear harmless at first glance, but these fences, they stop animals from migrating, which ends up with them not being able to eat. Just like you and me, animals have to eat. And to make matters even more unbearable would be the fact that people have set the beautiful natural grass on fire and this fire has killed animals and plants. It's released lots of smoke into the air, which tarnishes the ecosystem. There have also been some groups of plants and animals that have started to cause problems. These plants and animals would be our invasive species. Invasive species include plants, animals, fungi, etc. that put our environment at harm. These species are trouble and the worst of our park are the spotted knapweed and the leafy spurge. The, le the horrible spotted knapweed stop other plants from growing because of the nasty chemical substances they release. And the even more terrible leafy spurge steal the soil from our, steal the nutrients from our soil that the wonderful native plants in our park need. We must get rid of these invasive species. But before we can even do that, we must address the glaring issue for the bison population has reached dangerously low numbers. And this is because of cruel people killing animals for sport, also known as hunting. Look at these bison, they are far too precious. They need desperate help. Now, we have solutions. To save the bison, we can implement hunting-free zones and maintain the resources they need to survive. To stop grass fires, we can hire full-time security. And to get rid of the invasive species, we'll create public native planting projects. But in order to carry out all these good deeds, we need your contribution. This is your chance to show that you're on the side of life. Our donations are open. Now take the initiative. Preserve life. Thank you.